the United States and Mrs. Reagan. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. We should be applauding you. Please sit down. First of all, I wanted to say we're delighted to have you here at the White House and to thank you for your efforts in the Vietnam Veterans Leadership Program. You know, this is the fourth time that I've addressed you, and each time your numbers have grown. That's just one of the signs of success brought about by your dedication and selflessness. Forgive me if I sound a little proud, but you know, we started with a little more than an idea nearly three years ago. And now I'm proud to note that there are 50 Vietnam Veterans Leadership Programs with more than 4,500 volunteers who've donated more than 250,000 hours to helping their fellow veterans. And the VVLPs have directly placed over 2,000 veterans in jobs, counseled thousands more, and developed close to 7,000 job opportunities. In addition, the programs have counseled hundreds of veterans on small business opportunities, helping many of them realize the American dream of owning and operating their own business. Now, as you know, this is a pivotal conference for the Vietnam Veterans Leadership Program. You are focusing on your role after the end of this fiscal year when the federal government's involvement will end. Through action, the Federal Volunteer Agency, we sought to play a catalytic role. The idea was to develop a self-sustaining network of programs, independent of bureaucracy, that would mobilize successful veterans as volunteers. In three years, this goal has been accomplished. And now this fall, your programs will be on their own. I think you should be immensely proud of this. It's a testimony to your energy, resourcefulness, and spirit of independence. Please be assured you'll have my support in urging all Americans to support the leadership program's initiatives in the years ahead. Through service to the nation during the Vietnam War and through ongoing volunteer efforts like this one, you are, as Vietnam veterans, working to build a stronger America. Believe me, your ideal of service, of giving of oneself for the good of all, is both respected and encouraged. In closing, I'd like to return to something I said when this program was inaugurated in November of 1981. And at that time I said, a nation's future is only as certain as the dedication of its defenders, and the nation must be as loyal to them as they are to the nation. Over a decade ago, when battle raged across Vietnam, and many of you here in this room were fighting, steadfast and loyal to your country and the principles for which it stands. Today, once again, you step forward when your country called, demonstrating the same loyalty and sense of commitment that would make your fallen comrades and those who are still missing proud. So on behalf of all your fellow veterans and on behalf of really all Americans, I just want to thank you and say God bless you all for what you're doing. Thank you. You know, Mr. President, it was your leadership and support from the very beginning that has made this program, the Vietnam Veterans Leadership Program, possible and so successful with the kind of talented individuals who are here in the audience and some who couldn't come but who have been great leaders in this program. Uh, we thank you so much and, and we as a group 
want to present this uh, to you, and I would like to read the plaque that is presented on behalf of the Vietnam Veterans Leadership Program to you on the first day of March, uh, 1984. It is with heartfelt appreciation for his loyalty to and support of Vietnam veterans that we hereby recognize President Ronald Reagan as an honorary Vietnam veteran. Thank you. I can't remember when I've ever been in better company. Thank you. <laughs>